a protest at the heart of COP26. Delegates and people here today protesting what is being agreed. Signs against net zero, signs calling for real zero. People against 100 billion of finance a year in favor instead of trillions a year. Noise is being made here at the heart of COP26, an organized demo to try and push world leaders, to try and push negotiators to achieve something more ambitious. Do you think world leaders will listen to this protest? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Action! We need action now! To make up for colonialism, for the climate emergency that's driven by the North. Your sign says no thanks to nuclear power! Yes. Isn't it one of the only ways we're going to get to net zero? It is unsafe! We need that 100 billion. It's no longer 100 billion. It should be even more than two trillion dollars a year. Two trillion dollars? Yes, it is even more than that. 100 billion is not enough. Not 100 billion, not 200 billion, not a trillion but two trillion dollars a year. That's the, de the demand of one of these protesters here. There's a lot of ambition in this line. What are you looking to see from world leaders? I think they should include human rights language, gender inclusive languages. We also want youth to be included at the table. I'm specifically focused on that as a youth being represented here. What do you want them to commit to? A real zero by 2030. So not net zero by 2050, no. but zero zero, i.e. not offsetting carbon, but eliminating all carbon emissions around the world by 2030. Exactly. Does that not seem a tad ambitious? It's a bit ambitious, I think so, yeah, but... Countries like the UK have committed to cut carbon emissions in half by 2030. Which countries are not stepping up to the plate? The UK is, and that is nowhere near enough. Two trillion dollars a year, is that a realistic aim? Uh, it has to be, we have to. <laughs> Physics doesn't care what's realistic po policy-wise. We need a complete decarbonization of the electric grid of every sector of society to the mo extreme extent possible. How do you get reliable, no carbon baseload without oh. nuclear? Oh. Renewables! We have, we have just had a... Renewables aren't always working. They always work if you just put them together in the right way. Nuclear power is delaying and threatening the change. People on the front lines, especially women, have been dealing with crises for years and years, for the last 30 years. I want to see world leaders agreeing to stronger provisions, to strong climate finance, given by those countries who are, have colonialists. How much climate finance do world leaders need to commit to? That's not my area of expertise. If the world got to net zero by 2030, say, but some of that came from nuclear power, you wouldn't be happy? Well, there's no time for carbon offsets. We have to decarbonize now. Is that realistic? There will still be production. Is it better to offset it now? It's not the UK holding up the talks. Uh, it's, it's actually the UK and a lot of other rich countries that aren't showing real climate leadership. The UN say that to keep 1.5 degrees of warming alive, that hope, only halving emissions by 2030 would do that. Do you disagree? Uh, well, I'm not sure, but like maybe it's not only like ah uh, for anything we need to do it completely so what the un is saying the goal the un goal the ipcc recommendations you don't think go far enough no i don't think it's there far enough and it's time to stop building more nuclear power and safely gradually phase down like they are doing in some countries, like they are doing in Germany, like they are decided to do in Italy. Germany's carbon emissions went up when they closed their nuclear power stations. They have not closed that many power stations. But you accept them turning off nuclear power stations meant they had to import more dirty fuels from abroad? The fact is that they didn't turn off that many nuclear... A spontaneous demonstration in the final closing hours of this two-week conference. People believing that world leaders simply aren't stepping up to the plate. Many world leaders, of course, not even here.